Well, if it's public, you can just drop a French Plus portal and we'll just join off that. Make life a little easy. Thank you, Crisis. Let me double check. Safety. No, it's settings. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, let's see. Safety. Yeah, I still don't see it. I mean, if you have it in your listing, you can just drop a portal, make it Friends Plus, and anyone can still join off of it, regardless of permissions. I trust you enough. Well, we'll figure it out later. I mean, it's it's start time, bud. Let's get it rolling. Um, Tyler, if you have uh, permissions on DJ's um, mixer, you could do slash host and type in my channel, and it should host it. Uh, if he gave you editor permissions. I don't know what he gave you, but it'll let you know if you don't or not. But Slash host, space, and then uh, midnight run 12. And if you have permission, it should instantly kick, the kick, uh, kick it in gear. That way, just in case no one saw the Discord announcements, uh, they can roll that way. Oh, here we go. That's kind of cool. It puts a little effect around it. Oh, I don't have jump. Oh... Uh, you're killing me, J-Red. I don't have jump. <laughs> All right. Let me give myself some room. And walk. And put this bad boy here. And it's crooked. Now I'm going to be OCD. There we go. That's fine. He has to give you editor permission. So it's no biggie. Uh, I can't see viewer counts, but I can see messages flowing in. So it's all good. So what time are we at? Oh, I think we're good enough to start. What do you guys think? I'll give Jerry a moment to jump in. Uh, I can't tell how many people, uh, but I can see activity in chat. So Because uh, VR drop, OVR drop. So I can see all my chats in one because I'm doing Twitch and Mixer at the same time. Oh, hang on a second. I have the option to invite people. Yep, it is listed as public. Congratulations. You have done the impossible, Jared. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> that's all good. What's that? Hi. <laughs> yes, yes. And last minute shocking changes. It is me. You guys are stuck with me. So no, but in all honesty, though, uh, DJ sent me this. Uh, I normally I'm a person I'm horrible at public speaking. You'll learn that really quick. And my friend in the chat will tell you I'm the worst at it. But for some reason, the moment DJ asked me for this, I immediately accepted it. I don't know why, but there's something about. John chapter five, uh, first John chapter five, that really stands out to me. And I, um, as John, as DJ called it and faith in Jesus Christ, it really lays it out about, we've been learning so much about God's love for us. Now he's starting to take it a little bit and telling us how we have a relationship with him, how, uh, faith works with him and what we can do through faith. I like to call this in black and white because, you know, in life we go around and we, like having things just simplify, you know, I don't know if you guys are like me, you get a new game or something, you look at the manual, you like to know what, what it is, what to do, how to play it. Cannot get any easier than when something is laid out like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's start with the first verse over here. And I'm going to 
I'm not used to playing with the stream camera, so this will be exciting. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. We'll just spin this bad boy around for everyone else. So, uh, we start off with this, with the first verse of John chapter 5. And I really love how this one's laid out because it says, Everyone who believes that Jesus Christ has become the child of God. Has, well, has become a child of God. And I love that key word, everyone. That right there lays it out. You always hear about arrogant religions say, uh, especially with the way I kind of grew up, oh, well, if you look this way, you know, if like DJ had with a poor girl that was in a wheelchair, the church told her that, you know, she doesn't have enough faith. Right there, God is telling you, it doesn't matter what you look like, the color of your skin, the color of your hair, your mistakes, your past, it doesn't matter. He's All he wants you to do is, is find him. One of the best descriptions I ever heard of this was God is at your door. Jesus and God, uh, Jesus is at your door. He's knocking. Are you going to let him in? That's kind of a serious question to look at this about. Right there, he's at everyone's heart wanting to come in and get to know you and also for you to know him. He's at your door knocking. And that's kind of, kind of, the, kind of the way I want to go with this. But he also, <sighs> spin this around, he also lays out that, and everyone who loves the father loves his children too. I love this one as well because trying to, uh, <laughs> getting used to playing with the stream camera is a little tricky. But, <laughs> but I love that next verse as well too because everyone who loves the father loves his children too. And what that is telling us is, you know what? I love God. Alina, I love you too. It's telling us to love one another. And it's as easy as that. The problem is, like, I give you an example. Growing up in the churches I grew up in, you know what? Uh, like, let's say, let's say I went and dyed my hair this color. Oh boy, would would everyone have a fit over that one? But God doesn't tell you to judge a person. He tells you to love them, to pray for them. And John chapter five really lays this out uh, in great detail. So we know that. Ah, I need to try. I keep thinking I get a tripod or something I can easily flip this around with. But, and everyone who knows the Father loves his children too. So that right there is telling us to love one another from it. And we know we love God's children if we love God and obey his commandments. Mm, that's another powerful one there too. To love God is to love his commandments. Love one another. And, all, and the other 11 commandments. I'm so nervous. So this is, I never got my grandfather's passion for standing up in front of crowds and preaching. Because right now he'd be, Oh, working it. But by loving God, we love each other and we love his commandments. When Moses brought down these commandments, there were 12 simple rules to be in favor with God. And what was really interesting, though, too, when I was kind of going over everything uh, for it, when Moses brought down the commandments in the first time, they had already built idols. They had already broken so many, so many commandments that he gave them. But this shows God's love. What did he do? He sent Moses back up to have the commandments rewritten again. I mean, he could have just went up there and did a little cue from Star Trek snap and said, you know what? Nah, we're not doing this. But no, he showed love to them, which I think shows even more powerful to it. So all he wants us to do is love one another and follow his commandments. All right. And this right here lays it out even more in black and white for you. I keep forgetting that this, that this is a massive room. <laughs> so loving God means keeping, his, means keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. I mean, it's not like he's saying, you know what? Let's be honest. J-Red, you know what? Seriously, dude, I want you to wear a suit and tie every day. You know, I want you to wear the best Air Jordans every day. No, he's not saying that. He's saying, hey. Here are 12 simple rules. And if this camera does not stop dropping, there we go. 12 simple rules. That's all he wants in return for you to get close to him and build that relationship. And when you start building the relationship, you build faith. Um, continue on for their God. Every, ugh, excuse me. For every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this through victory through our faith. Now, this is the problem I kind of see with it. The problem, the problem is nowadays, we like instant gratification. You know, we like 
knowing we do something instantly right, you know, kind of getting that instant satisfaction. But just like DJ has stood up here before and told you guys, he can tell he can tell you all about God and God and Jesus himself. But it's kind of hard for us to believe in something sometimes that we don't always physically see. And that's kind of the truth. And that's where it builds our faith upon things. Let's give me one second. <coughs> Ooh, now I know my grandfather always kept bottles of water behind the pul pulpit. <laughs> but as we build upon our faith, we learn so much about God and what power we have. What's also great here, and I don't know if it's up in this one. I'm looking for it. Yes, it does come up in that. Fantastic. I've seen the screenshots, but I also read the entire chapter. So I'm, trying, I'm pulling from memory a lot of things. But as we start building upon our faith in God, and learning more about him and our relationship with him and what we can accomplish together, God tells us even more about it. Hang on. What's also interesting is another chapter in the same, uh, in another verse in the same book that says if we can believe man, and I'm trying to put your I'm pulling it from my memory and I can't find my phone because I got a cord tangled around my foot at the same time. But it says if we can believe the stories of man, surely we can believe the word of God. And that's basically kind of, I, and I know I'm kind of butchering that, but it's kind of saying that, you know, if I went and told you some, probably the, some of the most craziest, outrageous things, you're probably going to believe them. But here it is another person telling you what God has done and what he can do. So why can't you believe the same thing? And I kind of think it's kind of a powerful one. <clears throat> but, and this is what God has testified. And this is kind of laying out. He has by the reason he's done that, everything he has done has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. That whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have God's son does not have life. Mm. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. All right, I gotta, gotta get used to this. <laughs> Normally when I stream, I just stream my vision. But, um, but this is, I, I love this as well because. Through God giving his son, that because he cared so much about us, we have the option of eternal life. If you remember back to the very beginning, I mentioned about God at the door knocking. If I could find something to knock on here. He's there. And he wants to give you that gift right now. The question is, are you willing to let him in and learn and grow in faith together? Because you either have the choice of accepting the I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure I've used the right terminology the wording here. You have the right to accept the life or not. God is not a person that's going to force himself upon you. And that's why I love that door analogy so well, because he gives you the choice to come to him. So we spin back around too as well. And this is kind of something that DJ has uh, hinted on before. And I love wanted to add something to this as well. But move these cords out my way because they have not made a full virtual headset that's wireless, but um, I have written this to you that whoever believes in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know you have eternal life, and we are confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. Now, DJ has uh, said back to us before that, you know, we could, if we have problems, we could pray to God and ask for things. But here's kind of a challenge for you guys. And I think this is kind of always important. You know, I could go and say, you know what, God, I want a Ferrari. You know what? I want a million dollars. I want the biggest and baddest house and everything. But what is that what God really thinks is, uh, has planned out and is best for us? We may not always see things, as old saying goes, past the front of our nose. We may not always see things in the bigger picture. So one thing, when you see that he says, ask for anything that pleases him. What God pleases God the most, besides loving him, is faith. So if you have a challenge in your life, I challenge you right now. You know what? God, this work situation, I would love to have a new job. I would love to be a change department. No, at this point, Lord, I pray. I pray that your will be done. And I've just put my faith in him. And you will see amazing things happen 
when you put your full faith in God. Woo! That's... Mm, I should have put full body on for this one. <laughs> oh. But then he finishes up. Dear children, keep away from anything that might take play God's place in your hearts. Now, we've spoken about this. Excuse me one second. Coughing. <clears throat> oh, I just forgot. The chat still can hear it. But, <laughs> but we have gone over this before as well. You can, there's nothing, like when you always see the, uh, when DJ was talking about the poverty gospel and the prosperity gospel as well. You can have things in life. God's not telling you, you know what, I want you to live underneath a rock. I don't want you to be able to own anything. I just want you to just live. No, he's saying it's fine to have things, but don't let those things get in the way of our relationship between each other. And that's kind of why you always heard the old saying that money is the root of all uh, money is the root of all evil. Not really per se. It's letting that take the place of God in your life. And I think that's a powerful message as well, because you know what? I can go and like for example, um, I'm not going to butcher it, but Matthew was telling me an interesting the description of it. It's like taking taking a cell phone game. You know what? Mm, I'm going to beat this level tonight, boys. I got this. If I let that consume my life and my heart that much, that has become my God, my idol, what I'm worshiping. And I think that is an extremely powerful message. So, so far, mm, excuse me real quick. <clears throat> so far, God has laid out for us a bunch of different things in here. First off, he's laid out for us how what basically what he wants to return and that's to build a relationship with us and also by building that relationship with him we get faith in him as well and that we can trust him with our problems and he's already told us just right there that if we put our faith in him he will provide but this is not saying when but also to kind of add back to it to kind of spin it all back around and kind of close it out but the uh, things that take place in God's heart, God knows we're not the, the most perfect thing ever. And go back to the story of Moses. If you ever look at the story of the ten of the twelve, uh, excuse me, I keep I keep getting the number of commandments wrong. Wow, my mind is fried tonight. But if you look back to how it was written and how it was done, and going back to that first word written, everyone, he could have just easily said, you know what, you're not getting them. You know what, you you're not worthy of it. You don't deserve it. You get nothing. But no, he knows we're human and he's willing to always, the, basically he's always willing to be there and understanding. It's like the story of a, a child. How many times have you had, had your parents get mad at you? <laughs> Blaine ties more than I can count. But he's basically the father. Child messes up. Hey, you know what? Stand back up. Try it again. And that is a perfect way to look at it. Is that, that the gift he's willing to give us is for everyone. And even if we mess up, that gift is there. <clears throat> Woo! Tell you one thing, that's a load off my shoulders. <laughs> oh, man. But we always finish everything off with uh, prayer. Prayer for everyone as well. Uh, Tyler, would you mind leading it for us? Guys, I do want to thank every single person who came out today. These awesome... Well, I could just flip this around, can't I? Towler, Alina back there, who's still recovering. She's going to kick butt and get well soon. I know it. A Dancing Sonic over there. Uh, J-Red, who designed this world, is awesome. Uh, I'm having a hard time seeing the name. Stephen Murray, because of the white background. And then Eugen. And then our awesome translator here for sign language. The always awesome Quentin. So, guys, thank you for so much hanging out in the chat. Uh, I'm going to probably end it and hang out with the rest of these guys because I am winded. <laughs> so, take care.